Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have another winter torrid haul. So if you want to see what I got, then just keep watching. Okay, so we did it again and I bought torrid again. But see, really, it's Holly's fault. In the comments told me that torrid had a 50% off the whole site sale. For VIP members so I had to go look and so then I had to shop <laughs> because there were some jackets I wanted before but their jackets are really expensive so I wanted to buy them with the sale so I I bought them with the sale <laughs> this just came in the mail a couple of days ago let's get into this I'm so excited to see something on top that I really wanted okay so let me pull up my receipt so I can get names and stuff for you. And as always, everything will be linked down below. I say this in my description box, but I will say it verbally as well. It is affiliate links when I tag these things, so I do make a small commission. I want to say it's like 5%. I don't know how to follow it exactly because some things it's like 5%. Some things it's like 7.5. Some things it's below 5. So I don't, I don't really understand it, <laughs> to be honest. I will tell you, they have been really fast lately. I bought this on a Wednesday, and I got it in my mail on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. So it was really fast. Okay, so the first thing, I'm just going to grab out of the box and go as we go. So the very first thing I'm excited about, also kind of upset, not really. I've been mentioning this, that I'm, I've been trying to find like a taupe teddy bear or like a light brown teddy bear coat that's a zipper. I can't find that, so I did settle on this, which I believe it's a button. So it's called the Beige Sher Sherpa Open Front Long Line Teddy Coat. I got it in a size four. Same reason I got the other coat in a size four, so I can fit bulky sweatshirts underneath it, or sweaters. Um, this retails for $109.50 <laughs> which is why I did it on the 50% off. So it is just this really, really long Sherpa dress or teddy bear dress coat. Um, I don't even think this has a closure if I remember right. It does not. No. So I actually have the same exact coat that I bought last year in a Shein haul. If you can find the haul, it'll be on my channel from last year. But I bought this coat and I love the look of it. However, because of the size, it just literally stops right here and it doesn't look flattering. It's also crap quality, for being honest. Shein is very fast fashion, so it's a very cheap. It, but it's also priced cheap, whereas this is expensive and this feels like good quality. Like this is heavy. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So let's try this on. <laughs> okay, so you'll have to let me know what the lighting looks like because before I had this light coming from over there and it fully whited me out that I felt like you couldn't see very well. So now I only have this light and a light over there. So you'll have to let me know if you can see better. But this is the first jacket and I didn't notice, but there's pockets. So like I said, there is no closure, but I love it. It comes down pretty far, honestly. I just feel like it's something really cute to just throw on real quick, like maybe put a scarf since it doesn't close. But I actually really like this. It's really comfortable, really soft, and actually pretty warm. Obviously, if you're living somewhere like me where it actually is like winter, winter, you're gonna need a scarf or something here to help kind of close you in. But I feel like because there's pockets, you could also walk around like this. Um, so it's more of a fashion thing than it is feasible or usable or whatever the word is. Practical, <laughs> that's the word. But I still really like it. I think it's really soft and so, so comfortable. I guess we're just gonna get all the coats out of the way because that's what they have on top. So, the next coat, which there's only two. The next one is called the Black Stretch Woven self tie Long Line Fit and Flare Coat. Again, size four. This one is $139.50. So this one, I like it because I noticed with the last coats that I bought and the jackets I've been buying that if they're not a very solid neutral color, I feel like I have to have an outfit to go with it or I don't want to wear it. And I go back to my old coat, which is an old teddy bear that is really nasty and like matted. 
but it's a zipper and it's very comfortable. So I decided to get this because it's black so it'll go with everything. But once I get this out, it's got this fun peekaboo cheetah print on the inside, which I think would be really cute. Like, you know, it's almost like a surprise. You're wearing all black and then the wind goes and it's like, what was that? <laughs> I know, I'm weird. So let's go ahead and try this one on. Okay, so this is the next coat, which again, goes pretty low as well. This is different. So this was definitely heavy. I forgot to mention that. Um, so I got this in a four and I sized up thinking it would be extra room for your arms. There isn't. So if you're concerned about your arms not fitting, definitely size up because my arms fit perfect in this, which means I wouldn't be able to wear like a comfy sweater underneath. Um, another thing is they're kind of like, you see that? Oh, so like they fit fine when they're down, but I move my arms and now they don't have the length. So there's that, which isn't that big a deal. So I have the tie right now tied on. When you close it like this though, the pockets are up here, which is really weird. You'd think they would have made them still back here, but they're clear up here. And then if you untie it, you have the cheetah, which I think is really cute. So if you wanted to leave the tie alone and just like tie it in the back or take it off, then you could have your pockets, you know, with the coat just draped on you. And then you could see the cheetah more. I really love the thought of this coat. I really love the hidden cheetah underneath. But I don't know if it's something I'm going to wear very often. Because, like I said, when you close it, it's really weird that the pockets are clear up here. Like, they're right in front of my belly. In case you couldn't see that, they're right here. So that's kind of weird. Uh, other than that though, I actually really like the coat. I think it's pretty flattering on me. I just, I love the cheetah. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it and I'm gonna have to review the footage of this because that normally is very different than when I look in the mirror for some reason. So this one is kind of up in the air on if I'm gonna keep it. Let's go over one thing that I'm not gonna try on just because I don't see the point. It is this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna take this back because I didn't, well, I guess I could keep it. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have it. Um, so I was trying to buy a beige cami, just like your standard, you know, if you're from the 2000s fashion, you know, where we wore just basic camis under everything. Um, I've been getting some shirts that are see-through and so they, I feel like they would look better with a beige colored cami underneath. And I only have a black and a white one right now. So I bought this thinking that that was what it was, but I've never actually purchased this online, so I didn't know what it was actually called. And I just realized that this is called the Beige Seamless 360 Smoothing Cami. So based off of the name and off of the fabric, I'm thinking this is like, uh, why am I brain farting on what's it called? Shapewear. God, why was it so hard? Um, so I'm not mad at it. I guess I'll just keep it because... I could always use some shapewear. I just don't like wearing shapewear. It's not comfortable. But this does feel pretty nice and pretty comfortable. So I think I should still keep it. We'll see. There's just two shirts that I have that I wanted to wear it under. So throughout the week or whenever I get around to actually wearing those, I'll try this out and see if it works for me. Let me know if you've tried any of their like smoothing or shapewear stuff and if you like it or not. I'm just, I'm not a huge fan of shapewear. I'd rather be comfortable and let my rolls hang out. But there are occasions where, like special occasions where I think it would be nice. I just don't have enough of those special occasions to bother buying it. But since I already have this, I'll try it out. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on them. So let's do a cami that I will show you. So this is called the Bronze Coated Jersey Liquid Shine Swing Cami. I got in a size 3 and it is $35.50. So I bought this specifically to go under a jacket um, because I felt like there was not that much I had that would go under this jacket. And what's funny is my brain's starting so bad I don't remember what jacket it was. God, I hate having memory issues. Ooh, ooh, the material. 
Oh, okay. Did I say what it was? Size three and thirty-five fifty is the price. In case I didn't say that. So, oh, oh. So this is it. It's actually really, really cute and really, really like in your face. The material is so weird. Like I don't know how to. Exp it feels like sandpaper. I know that's on my boob. Sorry, but yeah, it feels like sandpaper. Where it's like okay-ish one way but really rough the other. It's also kind of see-through so we'll have to see what it looks like. The inside doesn't feel like that at all. So the inside will be okay. I just don't know how comfortable my arms would be. But I should be wearing a jacket with this so it should be okay. So let's go ahead and try this one on. So this is the neck shirt. It is pretty loose. Like it's loose here. It's pretty loose here. Um... But that's probably a good thing. So like I wouldn't wear it on its own because I don't like wear it like I think it must be the type of material of how it's clinging because it's like clinging in weird places. However, I purposely bought this to go under jackets. So let me just try it under a jacket. Um, this is also from Tord, so if I can find it, I'll link it. Uh, maybe not this jacket. <laughs> this jacket and this kind of clashes because this is so dressy and this isn't okay i'm gonna be fully fully transparent which i normally am this is gonna be a no for me because i don't like because of the type of material it is you can see where it clings and i just feel like it looks wrong and it looks weird it's not flattering the way it's clinging down here so even though it fits um I just don't like how it sits. So we're gonna say no for this one. The next thing is called the Leopard Georgette Tie Neck Peasant Blouse. Um, I got this in a size four because I could tell off the website the material I felt like was going to be, again, material that doesn't like my arms. And I got it in a size 45.50. My <laughs> size. The price is $45.50. So it is just a plain blouse. Well, plain as in like structure. It's a, it's the standard structure. This does look like it's going to be really big on me. I guess we'll find out. Um, and then it does have two little strings that you could do like a cute little tie in the front or let them just hang down. So let's go ahead and try this one on. Okay, so this is the next shirt. I actually really, really like this shirt. However, I can tell it's a size bigger than I normally get because the sleeves are very loose. Like I feel like they should be sitting here. Like that's where it just feels comfortable. But they're kind of big so they keep falling down to here which doesn't feel right. So that's kind of annoying to have to keep doing that. Um, but other than that, I feel like it fits good everywhere else. Like it is loose here. But I honestly like the look of that. I don't know. I feel like if I got a size down, it would fit way better for my arms as far as like lengthwise. But I feel like it'd be too tight here that I wouldn't want to wear it. I don't know. I feel like I could definitely get over the arm thing because it is really, really cute. I'd say I could sew this. Oh, wait a minute. Ha! Huh. There's another button here. So I actually could tighten it more which would then help it stay above my elbow. Okay, that would work. Well, in that case, I really like this shirt. If you are similar, I just noticed like these kind of shirts, they use the same material and these kind of shirts I have to have bigger for my arms. So I'm glad they put the extra button in here so I can make it tighter, which is really nice. Last item. This is called the Dip Dye Waffle Brush Knit Tie Front Top. What? Size 3 and it's $45.50. I don't know why it says tie front top because even the picture doesn't show it tied in the front. Yeah, I don't know why it called it that. There is no tie in the front. Maybe that's just a mess up on my like receipt in my app or in my email. I don't know. But it's basically just this white to pink ombre. I have a sweater in two toward videos ago. Um, that's very similar to this, but this is just like a lightweight cardigan almost. What does it call it? It just calls it a top. Um, it is a top because you wouldn't wear something. I don't know. Are these usable? 
no they're faux buttons all the way down so it is just the top and like it said it is waffle knit maybe on the color i could show you better <laughs> it's just trying to find my face that's the reason i liked it i actually really like this like waffle knit and this is very very soft let's go ahead and try this on okay so this is the next shirt obviously you can see my bra sorry should wear a white one under this or beige but I definitely need a size up. It fits okay, but it is pulling. So, I mean, I can pull it forward. I would just like it to sit loosely on its own. I can pull it forward and then it sits better, but it's just, it's not flattering. I really like the material. It's so, so soft and so comfortable. I just definitely think I need to size up on this particular one. Oh, it is a tie because the bottom buttons are real. Wait, are they? Yeah, this bottom button is real, so you can take it out and do a tie. Gotcha. Anyways, yeah, this is super comfortable, super soft, but because of the sizing, the way it, it's fitting, it's definitely a no, but I might try sizing up and see what it looks like in a size higher. Okay, so that is all I have for this haul. I am going to find another place to shop at. Actually, somebody recommended someplace in the comments. Can't remember what it's called now. I think like Glitz something boutique. I don't know, I'll have to look into it. But I am going to, like keep saying this, but it's just every time I say this, then I get some kind of email. It's like they're listening. I get some kind of email about a sale or somebody telling me about a sale. So I'm like, well, I have to go and I have to use my my Torrid cash, my rewards I have. Um, so I keep getting sucked in. I swear Torrid has to be listening to me. So I'm going to find somewhere else to shop. I keep saying that and I keep, I still want to try. I just keep getting sucked into these damn sales. That is all I have for this video. I hope that the next one is a different store. I'm not gonna promise or guarantee it. We're just gonna hope at this point. <laughs> So yeah, that is all I have for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.